Welcome to day 26 of the 100 Day Practice Challenge. I'm going to talk to you about some fun things you can do with or without playing your instrument to count for practice. Finger taps. You can do this on any surface. Of course, it's best on the strings. Bow climbs. I used to hate these. I wasn't very good at them. Let gravity do the work going up. Not too fast and be careful. Don't want to drop it. Now, climbing back down the bow. There are folks that can do this so fast. That's not me. When I was a kid, I hated this. But now that I'm adult, an adult, I, I know that it's much better for my finger dexterity and my finger strength. Your goal is not to touch the hair if you can help it. Oh my. I'm almost gonna lose it. There it is. Now you saw me cheating a little bit there, putting my pinky on one side, getting fingers like this. If you have to do it that way, it's still working your fingers. Boom. Bow holds. Extra special hard. <clears throat> Let's get up to the tip of the bow this way. And now try to climb down. Or even do it sideways. Or at an angle. Or change the angle this way. Another of my colleagues has pointed out this one, the jellyfish push-up. Works good in both your hands. Some other stretches you can do. Stretching the wrist this way, then the top of the wrist this way. Individual fingers can get a little stretch out for the webbing. Especially important in the left hand for a cello player. We make extensions happen. Hold it for much longer than I just did. 30 seconds to a minute is a great stretch. Here's another example of a five minute practice session away from an instrument you can use with a bow. There's an extension, relax, extension, relax. Get all the way up to the tip, come down. Here's the trick, thumb goes first, then fingers. The is getting in my way. Thumb drops first, fingers with it. Thumb drops first, fingers with it. Now you're doing a cello extension, or the bass hand shape. Here's another way to do it. I learned this from Bob Phillips. Index finger here, middle finger here, ring finger lips, pinky finger chin. Now you've got the extension or the bass hand position. Thank you, Bob Phillips. All kinds of things you can do in your practice session if it's Sunday night and you've got homework due on Monday, but you still want to get a little bit of practice in. If you're on day one, great job. If you're on day two, double bonus. And anything past that is an awesome bonus. Keep it up. Break a leg. See you next time.